we play musical genre chairs going from Americana to rap to escort in the Tigers team, let's hear a song from first-time nominee Tony Wavy as we prepare to talk to another group of first-timers here in the Radio Lex studios. And this is his original song and Renee favorite, Beautiful. And we'll be back after this song. One for my queens, the ones that never sleep, but still be chasing dreams. Putting in that work, they mistaking you for me. Yeah, they just looking at your jeans, but it's more inside your jeans. Man, it's deep beneath the scenes. I hope you get it what I mean. I said it's deep beneath the scenes. I hope you get it what I mean. I'm saying, oh girl, you're beautiful. I said, oh girl, you're beautiful. I said, oh girl, you're beautiful. In the church to the women on the pole You carry all this weight and you do it like it's swole You ain't gotta tell them cause they already know that you got it That you got it And you ain't gotta tell them cause they already know that you got it That you got it Yeah you don't see your badge, you're fine, you're smart, you on your grind You be on the clock but you never wasting time They been on the block, they just waiting on the sign you handle the rock like a second on the time You don't need a rock just to tell you that you're fine Shorty, you divine Baby, you a star, I just wanna see you shine I just wanna see you shine I'm just trying to say I said, ooh, girl, you're beautiful 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 Yeah, hey, ladies Where you at? Where you at? We have a bunch of beautiful people in the studio. I, I told her this is like speed dating. We just herded four people out of the studio, and now we have four more uh, contestants, <laughs> victims, whatever we call them. <laughs> but we're back, and that was first time nominee Tony Wavy, who is also known in this wonderful Lexington community as the hip hop Picasso, as he serves. So this community is both a musician and urban artist, so I guess is the member of the Tigers. We also have Tony the Tiger in the room, yeah, right? Let's yeah. give it up for Rawr. Tony, everybody. You're great. <laughs> and also in this group, I'm, I'm trying to manage my video and microphone. You too. can 
can do it all. I do. I can do it all. Um, in this group, we also have Anthony Joe Hiley in the house this evening, and not as a, not so much as a first time nominee because he's a veteran. But I have him here tonight because I've named him the CEO of this show, the Chief Encouragement Officer, as he served as a cheerleader for so many people that you see in the room and out of this room tonight. So, th- right. Anthony, thank you so much for all of that. I, if I need like a good lift, you want to go to Anthony because mm-hmm. he's just That's he's he just supports sure. local music so much, and we are so glad that you're here tonight. Well, let's go around the room now as we have the Tigers to get to. So, folks, introduce yourself and what ha- you have been nominated for. So, we'll start with you. Oh, man. So, I am Tony Wavy Hip Hop Picasso, your favorite artist, favorite artist from the paintbrush to the pen. <laughs> I am a painter, a rapper, an overall creative father and man of God. So, uh, the category that I am nominated for for the first time ever the hip hop category for the Lexi Awards. Woo! Yeah, that's very nice. I love it. <laughs> All right, we're going to swing the microphone. We're yeah. like musical chairs yeah. in here. Yeah. So <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself and tell everybody what you're looking forward to the most about attending the Lexi's and what it means to you to be nominated. Probably the party after. <laughs> we heard that answer before, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Oh. you, you got to oh. think about the party there, too. <laughs> There's a bar there. I don't know. I've never been. So, <laughs> so Dalton, introduce yourself to maybe like let us know what you're nominated for. Right, I'm Dalton we... Rose. Uh, I'm nominated for Bass Player of the Year. And yeah, uh, it's an honor. I've been waiting on it a long time. <laughs> I appreciate it. All so. right. Let's go to Anthony and get nominees and then we'll swing back around with some Q&A. Perfect. All right. All right. Well, my name is Anthony Hiley. Hi. And I'm nominated this year for, uh, Get ready for it. singer, songwriter, and folk music category, which I am just so honored to uh, be included in this. And I really love uh, everything that you know goes on with the Lexis, uh, from spotlighting the regional artists, and it kind of gives everybody a chance to to really kind of chart, you know, kind of their their where, where they're going for, for the year uh-huh. and and. Uh, just I don't know. It's just an amazing thing to see and, and have everybody come together and feel good about what they're doing and get to meet each other and network and all that good stuff. So. Yes. Looking forward to it, man. Let's give it up for Anthony, everybody. And we'll swing it over here to the end of the studio. We've got Miss. Well, go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience. This is a, or I am Trish Torline, and uh, I am uh, nominated for female vocal. And Singer Songwriter of the Year, um, S- Song of the Year for Girls Night Out, and Jay Flippin Music Educator Award. That's yeah. four. That's four. four. Counting. Yes, wow. let's give it to <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's sweet. So now we're going to go and let's go back to Tony and let's talk to Tony about Tony. What are you? Um, what does it mean to be a first-time nominee? And also, what are you looking forward to the most this year? Okay, so what it means to me, so coming from a place like North Carolina, if you guys don't know, I've been here for about a year and a half, two years, um, I have fam- I've been coming here since a kid, and you know, coming from a place that I didn't receive a whole lot of love or accolades, you know, uh, coming my way or being recognized for what I was, you know, doing in the art community and music community, it's a lot of love shown here in Lexington, Kentucky, so it means the world to me, to, just to be recognized and to, you know, be among other amazing artists who been working for years on end and putting work to their craft so I think the thing that means the most to me is that it's just getting that recognition and you know just just being around other great people you know and that's what I look forward to and I look forward to networking and you know just being myself and having a good time and Tony while we have the microphone I wanted to tell you all and Adam I don't know if you know this but Tony has a mural that's up with uh, Muhammad Ali at St. Georgetown Street and that was a project that he completed what like October wasn't it October November yeah it was about October November yeah so tell us about that and also tell us about your urban art that you do here in town okay so Back in October, I had the opportunity to paint a whole mural. So it was my first mural here in Kentucky that I've done. I've done a few more, but it was like my first opportunity to do that one. 
uh, courtesy of Urban Art Collective and Project Ricochet, uh, working in collaboration to put a piece together that meant something to the community, meant something to the people, that is bigger than just uh, just seeing another art piece or just seeing another mural, but it was something that meant something with Muhammad Ali, a person that's from Kentucky. And, you know, we wanted to push a narrative of being a light. And, you know, that's what we really want to be, a light in the community and to the people around us. So, you know, I'm super grateful for the opportunity. Well, we are so glad to have you here. Thanks for coming back. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you of someday. Course. I'm going to get pictures with all of you. I'm so excited. <laughs> He's a real Picasso. Oh, he is a Picasso. I thought it was just an act. No, I thought it was just no. a little slang he was that, throwing out. He's AKA, AKA. hip hop Picasso. <laughs> uh, Cash Love here at Radio Lex gave me that name. So I'll yeah, that's that true. Shout out. There's a little history there for you. Oh, I didn't Isn't know. That that. Awesome? I got that name here at Radio Lex. Yes. That's awesome. We're thankful for that. And let's swing the microphone over and let's hear from Dalton. Dalton, what does it feel to be a first time nominee? And also, um, what are you looking forward to the most? And by the way, Dalton is a musical veteran around here. Don't let the first time nominee thing confuse you because he's been in, you've seen him in a lot of bands. Yeah, so talk to us about that. Um, like I said, it's a real honor. I've been waiting on it, you know, quite some time. Um, glad I've been doing something right to get uh, mm -hmm. into this position. And uh, I just look forward to seeing everyone else awesome. on Sunday. Yeah, just having a bunch of talent right. all at one place is mm -hmm. just always nice because of the networking that right. you can do. Well, right, it's going to be just, a lot of fun. You should, feel include, you should feel like you deserve to be there because you certainly do. And we'll hear some of his... Yes. Well, yes, we'll hear some of his work today on the program. We have some that's in the library, so oh, okay. we'll be playing that. But one of the things I want to talk to you about Dalton is that he's been on the road a lot. And tell us about the most... Uh, probably the significant name that a lot of people would recognize. Well, it's... Uh I've been with Jesse Keith Whitley um, for about six months. We're on winter break right now. We're supposed to hammer down. Uh, it's supposed to be a busy year, a big year for Jesse. I'm excited for him. Uh, hope all the best for him. How did you get connected with him? Um, they have a memorial ride for his dad every year. Yeah. Um, so I think probably maybe 10 years ago I started going and met Jesse and he was looking for a bass player a while back, so I jumped on it. He gets some great gigs, and we are so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to Anthony. And Anthony, talk to us about, you know, what does it mean to be nominated again, I guess, in your case? And also, what are you looking most forward to? Well, for one, I can't thank the community enough for in including me and uh, giving me the opportunity to, to be there with all those other artists. Uh, uh, the, the Lyric Theater is just such an awesome place you know um the fact that uh it, the history that it has there and everything and um i guess one of the things i look forward to the most is getting to see uh the reactions from the people they get to go up and when they're getting their awards and um you know you can just you can tell what it means to everybody mm -hmm. that comes up there and um just with how many people this would be the 10th year the 10th year mm -hmm. yeah. and with all the folks that have come through there uh, and everything is to just to be included just have your name on that uh, included with that means so much and um, yeah and like she was talking earlier about supporting the community and everything to, to get to see the support amongst the other artists and stuff that are there uh, taking pictures with each other and meeting and a lot of times that's the first time folks meet mm -hmm. is there yes uh, we speak a lot online I was talking to somebody <laughs> about that earlier I said the uh, you know, uh, you see everybody online, then you see them in person. So. This is the first time we've met tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've told people before, yeah. I said, if I happen to walk by you, reach out and poke me. So. Right. <laughs> yeah, same thing. You know, when I uh, I see every person in the studio today I've seen before online, I've heard mm -hmm. their music. And this is, I've met a lot of people through this show. However, I'm very excited to get to the Lexington Music Awards for the sheer fact of just meeting the talent, putting a face to all the music I've heard, and finally getting them to come off the screen and yes. into person. So I'm excited about yes. that. Yes. Well, all right. Here from Trish, first time nominee in four categories. That, everybody, that shocks me that you are a first time <laughs> nominee. I think you're you've been gypped all these years. Yeah. She's just oh, yeah. she's a shy type. And um, it helps to have the support that she does that helped get her on the ballot, I would assume. Right, Trish? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I had no... It was, it was funny. I, Trudy Sosby Rose called, texted me and said, uh, have you seen the nominees for, for the Lexington Music Awards? And I said, no. She said, girl, 
<laughs> girl, girl, you need to look it up right now. I'm like, okay. So I did, and I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. and oh, oh my, <laughs> you know. And it, by the time I got, I had it. It just was such a a, a disbelief. But then at the same time, it was a very warm moment in my spirit because, it, you know, it just meant that, you know, so many, so many people liked my work. Yes. And uh, they were enjoying it, and it, it meant something to them to the point that they, there was an action associated with it. I mean, they had to go and physically, you know, fill out the ballot. And, and that is just such an honor. Um, and, and a blessing. Um, and I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just tickled to death. I mean, um, it, I must be doing something right, obviously. Um, you know, I, first of all, none of it is me. I, I just want to, I just have to say that. It, it's really not me. Everything that happens through me, all this is happening through me because of my Heavenly Father with the gift that He's given me. Amen. So, um, and so I just, I'm just very thankful for the, uh, for the opportunity to, to be included with so many incredible, talented musicians and singers and songwriters and all, the, all the different categories. Um, that in itself is a win in my book. Are you going to have a girls not out when you? Go? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to listen to this song. We might well, play it if we have time. There we go. Well, I'm bringing my entourage, so we'll. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And I just, Adam, I just want to really just. Um, add on to what Trisha said and also mention that one of the observations I had from looking at the nominees list and I wrote about it this week we have a lot of generations even in this room mm-hmm. right here mm-hmm. but that Trish and I and Trip Bratton who will be receiving a Lifetime Achievement uh, Keith McCutcheon jazz pianist Whit Whitaker opera singer and Dennis Davis who is the classical guitar uh, teacher at EKU all went to the UK School of Music at the same time Right. And it means so much to me to be in a category with all of my classmates. Yeah, let's give Woo! it up for that. That's like but the Lexington like, conversion of the Mickey well, Mouse Club. That, brother. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, there's a good song there. But one of the things that I think is so important, and I call them musical descendants, because we have teachers that, um, you know, I learned from a teacher that just passed away last year, um, Dr. Holroyd, who's oh. 99, oh. but she has taught so many students, thousands of students, and Warren and I see descendants of her <laughs> music teaching on open mic stages, like right now, and we've been able to track this to four students and teachers apart. You said 99 so is how long? Yeah, she passed away at 99, and awesome. um, Trish got to learn from Dr. William Harry Clark, who was the UK marching band director during that time. Vince DiMartino mm-hmm. was one of the professors there that's responsible mm-hmm. for most of the jazz musicians that are in this town. Phenomenal. And I mean, it's just really incredible to think about, right? So for you young ones, never doubt the impact that you all have, right, on the people that see you on stage and that you're working with. And I, this has been a real good set. We're going to have to move it along. (laughs) But thank you all so much. Let's give everybody a round of applause. We're going to play musical cheers, actually, one more time. And when the music stops this time, we'll have the bears in the studio. (laughs) We've had the lions and the tigers and the bears. The bears are You and I are the oh my's. Yeah, Uh, that's right. (laughs) 